so we should probably uh, call the meeting to order and take attendance. Um, okay, I'm Bobby Kamen, chairperson. We have uh, Shell Horowitz is attending. Tony Lynn Morelli is attending. Uh, Jane Nevin Smith, our liaison, is attending. And uh, apparently at this moment, Michelle is absent. Michelle Morris Friedman. Um, all right, so calling the meeting to order. I am sorry, a little disorganized. First item on the agenda, we need to appoint a clerk for this meeting. Anyone willing to raise the hand to take minutes? I can do it. Thank you, Tony. Michelle, thank you very much for those last minutes. Um, You're welcome. I'm going to send Michelle a text, just make sure she hasn't forgotten. Thank you. Okay. So thank you, Tony, for taking the minutes. Um, okay. First order of business uh, is the approval of minutes for March 22nd. What comment, any comments or suggestions? Corrections? Anyone want to make a motion to approve the minutes as, as written? I'll make a motion. Since I took the minutes, I don't think I should second the motion. Okay, I'll second. Okay, second, Tony. Uh, Bobby um, made a motion to approve. Tony seconded, and they are approved as written. Thank you very much, Shell. Well done. You're welcome. Okay. Moving right along, um, for, I, I might mention, I believe we have a hard stop at 2.30. At is that right, Tony? I think that's what your request was. Does that still? Let me look. Um, you... Yep, that's right. Yes, thank you for okay. watching my schedule. Remembering <laughs> okay. than I do. Okay, so we'll, we'll keep things moving. Okay. Um, can you just tell me what's the, um, what was the date on the minutes? Uh, March 20, uh, excuse me, yes, March 22nd. Thank you. Welcome, Michelle. Hi, sorry I'm late. I couldn't call you. I had to bring my car in for emergency repair. and I, yeah, I will home. erase this text I started writing to you. <laughs> yeah, no, I was biking and there was a headwind, so it was about 10, 15 minutes longer than it usually takes. Yeah. So, uh, so Hi, Michelle. So we didn't actually officially vote on the minutes. We just did the I propose, I second, and then we didn't vote. So maybe All those we just in favor of approving the minutes? Aye. 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 Okay, okay, great, Aye. thanks. Okay, we got Michelle in there. Minutes. Thank you. <laughs> and um, the minutes should reflect that Michelle is, is also in attendance. So uh, we're yep. all set on that. Got it. Okay, next time of business, we have old business and we have lots of updates, great. Okay, updates, the first item is updates on other town applications. Um, thank you very much. I'm grab, gonna grab something off the print, I'll be right back. Michelle, it's so good to get Northampton. Thank you. Yeah, it wasn't difficult, but it took my first time I tried by phone and it went, I think, into the, the abyss. So the second time I, I found an email for Meredith O'Leary and it was pretty instant. Awesome. I'm sorry that phone's gonna keep ringing. I'm not at a place where I can shut it off. I be beg your pardon. Sorry for interruption. Go ahead, Shell, I interrupted you. I was done. All right, so okay. you secured Northampton minutes from whom? A Meredith O'Leary, the uh, health um, director or whatever her title is. Board of health director. And, uh, I know the, the health department director, I think. I don't I don't think she's the director of the board. Yes, they have a health department. They have a paid uh, department. Okay. Um, and um, and then I'm also gonna note that you, um, we'll, we'll talk about the Northampton minutes, but just that Bobby, you found out that uh, Amherst didn't actually. Yeah, yeah. I, I I contacted that was them. Michelle. And, Thank you. Yeah, Sorry, Michelle. And, and they they let me know they actually did not complete the um, application. They also asked. I forwarded it. I thought to everybody. Yeah, I think you um, did. Yeah, mm -hmm. and so one of my questions was they mentioned not having paid the fee and asked about it, but not having heard back. So I don't know, <coughs> you know, what the fee status is for the applications. I um, was. 
I, I was curious about that too, because I was, there was no fee to submit the application. So I was mixed up in terms of it's- I figured it, that was for the PBMCD, just like yeah. we've been struggling. Yeah. I, that's what I assume too. So I have an answer to that question. I talked to David Nixon. Excellent. Great. And what he says is in 2018, the vote at the town meeting was authorizing the select board to join, not to join. Ooh. And it never went to select board and it never happened. And, it never, and he, David kept asking for a contract and he never got a contract. And it was a group that was started by a woman um, named Carolyn Ness in Deerfield. Uh -huh. And David said that it was really rather loose when it was formed and we were in the early stages and he assumes that they lacked structure to keep it going, ultimately. And now it's morphed into something else. What are you saying it? What it? What is it? The, the Mosquito Control District started as a, a project from Deerfield. And uh. Hampshire, Franklin County Mosquito Control District, getting anybody they could. But nothing ever followed through on it. That's a little bit concerning because I think when I was reviewing what Michelle sent us, it seemed to imply that the reason Amherst didn't actually submit their application is because their understanding was that you had to be part of a mosquito control district, which they were not. Um, I thought we were until a minute ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are because every, he says, you know, if they think you belong, don't. Don't argue, but we never paid. That's what I was thinking too. Like they told us we were. <laughs> yeah, let's let's not argue that. Let's just go with it. Okay, because there is a formal Pioneer Valley Mosquito Control District. It's formal. It's on the state website, and Hadley is listed as a member. Cool, wonderful. Okay. Then we don't have to worry about it. Okay, maybe it was. <laughs> maybe that one was free. Don't ask. Okay. <laughs> this is one time to play don't ask don't tell okay right. all right then we will continue to use the resources of the organization the other thing that was concerning to me and this is not maybe not asked but when when um amr said that they're going to join the pine and valley mosquito control district which will allow them to opt out of the spraying I, I was I was a little confused about what that meant but anyway we'll we'll let that one go um Okay, so Northampton, is there anything else on the Amherst that we need to pursue or discuss at this point? I don't think so. Anyone, everyone agree enough, we can move on to. Should we have some discussion in Northampton? Yeah. That's in a moment. I wish I could share screen on this. I don't know how to do that. Um, maybe I can. I could can bring do it, it up if you I'll want to look at it. Did everyone have a chance to look at it or should I try to bring it up? Tony Lynn's gonna do it. Yep. Let me just do a little fancy thing here for you so I can be I knew how to do more. that. <laughs> yeah, we let her do the techie stuff. <laughs> I just have to share only part of my screen so I can take notes at the same time. So give me just one more second. While you're doing that, I think one thing we have to keep in mind is the uh, Northampton has a Department of Health. They have three full-time employees. Um, they're very, a lot more able to, to put a lot of efforts toward this. Um, and so I just think we need to look at it in that vein that they're very involved. Okay. Look at that. Now we just need to how do we get the whole whole view? There I'm working on it. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. Okay. So I, I I suspect we should look at this in the vein of what can we glean from it for our application. Um, I, I think that would be the most productive way if if you agree. Um, okay. So if we can scroll down past this, there's really not much on the first page there. It's more instructions page two okay well obviously we have to change the town and contact 
Yeah, yeah. So whoever was able, Michelle, hopefully you're able to get into the Google Doc or Shell, you were able to. So get into the what? I'm sorry. able to kind of do some comparing while we. I, while I, we I, the... There was some static. I, what was I able or not able to get into? Well, um, just saying on the Google Doc, if you're able to kind of like eyeball the Google Doc while we're going through this. Yeah, I've got it actually up on um, my other computer. So awesome. And just um, take any notes. No, this is the Hadley app. Let me get um, out of that and into the and other I'll one. take notes. Um, City of Northampton. Okay, now this is a PDF, so I'm not going to be able to make changes in it. No, no, I mean the Google Doc, like our own draft application. Oh yeah, I've got that. Answers. I've got that on the screen. Awesome. Um, okay, did you get the most recent? You have the okay, you've got it on the screen. So I I updated it so from last meeting. Okay, good. Okay, this was sent by Tony Lynn at um, nine minutes before one o'clock. Yeah, since it's a live document, any of the updates will be in that same link. So. Oh, okay. Okay. So uh, just running through this, um, the application. So obviously the Board of Health is the contact person on, on this one. So we, we're gonna have to figure out who it is in our town. Uh, it's still a question mark for us. Um, now, what do they mean by a certified vote here to join? Um, is that we have got that already, Jane got it for us. Okay, great. That was the 2018 yeah, the meeting. meeting. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we have it. Yeah, thanks. Okay. So, um, okay, our contact information will be different and the person responsible for overseeing the work is another question for us. <laughs> um, yeah. So. Yeah, that's interesting. Right, I so know. I mean, is there a possibility of this being you, Bobby? Point of contact? Yeah. I'm not an authority for the town. Okay. I would, I, I, I think Jane, you're gonna see if, I don't know if you've had a chance to see if the town administrator would be the point of contact. I will ask her. It Seems would make sense. That... I'm sorry, Shell, go ahead. I said that would make sense for it to be um, Caroline. Yeah, if Jane would could find that out. I will, I'm meeting with her tomorrow, so that's easy. Perfect. Okay, and, and would we then guess that this part is would be Bobby? Like, does that make it an easier sell to say, you don't actually have to be in charge of overseeing the work, you're just the point <laughs> of contact? I, I mean, I think our committee is in charge of overseeing the work, aren't we? That's what well, I would have They're looking for one contact here. They're not looking for a committee. I, you can put my name in. <sighs> yeah. All right, I'm yeah. the point. I'll you would be point of contact if it's not Carolyn or if Carolyn's looking to contact someone through this system. It's right in front of her. Okay, so we're saying point of contact would be Carolyn and I would be the responsible person. Is that what we've? Yeah, so should I put this into the Google Doc? I now? think so, yeah. All right, so, so, so. Um, we'll put it in as, um, is it Carolyn or Caroline? L-Y-N. E-R-E-N-N-A-N, -N -N. title, town administrator um anybody have her email handy uh town administrator at hadleyma.org okay by the way to interrupt for a second tony lynn i've been trying to say i was denied access to the google account and did you click the button to request access yes i did uh, quite a few minutes awesome. ago. all right so now you're all gonna have to see me real quick do something that well, maybe I shouldn't because this is being recorded. If you see something on my email, yeah. you should. <laughs> okay, I can't. Oh, I can do it on my phone. I'll do it on my phone. <laughs> Thank you. If it wasn't being recorded, I wouldn't worry as much. But um. <laughs> okay, uh, um, do we have a right, phone there. number You're for right. Carolyn? A phone number? Yeah. Town Hall. Um, wait a minute. Get oh. it for you. Maybe you can just put it in the chat to Shell and we can move on. Yeah, okay. But the details we can fill in. And yeah. if you put my name, I'll fill in my con if there's okay, a great. contact, I can fill that in. Yeah, okay, great. Um, okay, yeah, so somebody will go through and, okay, fill that in later. Okay. Okay. So we will say we're part of an MCD. Mm -hmm. um, 
we don't have any contractor, right? Yeah. So we were thinking we'd just check one of these, right? Not all of them. So that's right. interesting. I mean, I think this box of like who's doing what will kind of relate to down to later what we say we're doing, probably. Yeah, right. well, clearly this is Northampton's that doesn't apply to us. Right. Because we do have like people that work in facilities in Hadley, that like, public works in Hadley that we yeah. could potentially like list here if we're gonna be talking about like cleaning yeah. the gutter. Yeah, we need, we need to, to ask them first. Right. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we're just gonna move past that. Okay. For now, at least. Okay. Okay. The testing is is actually the Pioneer Valley. So are we skipping that section? I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. yeah. The um, the one we did some of these. We checked some of them off, not all of them, like Northampton did. Okay. Um, services. Okay. Very good. Okay. Moving on. Okay. Now the testing. Okay, we've got that. Let we don't know. I'm not sure because I can't. I'm not seeing the Google Act, so let me know if you want me to move farther on the PDF. Um Jill, are you are you tracking? Um well I'm looking at the Hadley document. Right now I'm about to put in the phone number for Caroline Carolyn, which um we're going to do that later. We're going to keep moving on. I, I think we should keep moving. We can look those details up. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to to scroll back and forth between the sections, but um, we don't have in hours. We don't have this checklist of services to be provided. Mine just I've appeared. Got, isn't this the one where it says? Yes, yes there we go. Sorry, this is why. If this box is checked, skip. Yeah, okay. So okay. I, I don't even have the box that's okay. Missing. Yeah, I when I imported it, I just didn't put them in. Perfect. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. So sorry. Thank you. So I'll go to page six now. So the, the next thing I've got my section is mosquito habitat, which is mostly checking with Chris and the DPW right now. Got it. Okay. So for mosquito habitat. Okay. So they put go. all that stuff out. We can check in maybe with our MB our MCD, um, PVMCD yeah. person, uh, but it seems like they didn't have to do that. Well, um, yeah, they said they had mapping of what I just I'd be interested to them who who did the mapping of wetlands, mapping of catch basins and past surveillance. That would be useful, I think, to know. And I was supposed to check with Chris tonight. I have. I neglected to do that. So I've got some on my to do list. And there was also a DP request to check with DPW. I'm not sure who was going to check the DPW on that on catch basins, wetlands, and catch basins. That you should be on the list. Note. I'm sorry. I have a memory of Jane talking about it, but I don't remember she actually volunteered. Okay. I will volunteer. Good. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Jane. All right. Thank so you. you want catch basins? If there's a mapping of catch basins, if the DPW does that, or any mapping of wetlands, wetlands or catch basins? And, and I definitely here. wetlands. So we, we, yeah, I remember now where this conversation went. So, like, the Conservation Commission has, you know, exactly. wetlands ma mapped. Exactly. So but then it was first. just like, okay, what are we going to do with them? And so why are we, you know, like, yes, we have wetlands maps across the state. Um, How do we, spaces, maybe do we have there. access to that or, I mean. Yes, we, I'll call, I'll call Shiley and get a copy of it. Okay, Jane's going to follow up. Okay. But I guess I just, I think I said this last time before we like start having people do work, just understanding where what the work is going to go to. So we're not, you know, like having a map of all the. So I just rewound to here. I just wanted to see what Northampton actually. Okay, let me scroll down. Uh, to that filled out, even though they weren't, they didn't need to. So they filled out this section. Um, yeah. And then that's about all they they filled out 
So they didn't, they did skip all these others. Um, well, should we, are you suggesting we should fill that section out? We have, um, well, we have a, a long section on outreach anyway. Um, right, no, I mean, I. I don't know. I may, I, if it was a mis I wouldn't worry. I don't want to agonize them with this because it's not the application we're working yeah. on. So they might have fixed If it was an error, then they'll fix it the second time, you know? I'm just saying, like, I don't think we should look for wetlands maps because they checked out that box or whatever. So let's just keep going. Well, it's under mosquito habitat. Right. Okay. So they did skip all those things except for that one. Um, and then they did this information technology, which again, not clear. Does it say where on page six we're supposed to start again? Skip to the mosquito habitat. habitat. So they didn't have to do this part either, and they did. But okay. So now we've got. Yeah. So that section is covered in ours. Okay. Um, but right now it's covered by saying um, we have to check with Chris and the DPW. Okay. Got it. Sorry, I'm off that's, of so that. Sorry. That's what you just um, agreed to do. So yeah. We'll and mean, are you talking Chris, who's no longer our DPW director, and we mean Scott, or is it some other Chris? Um, well, I don't know. If if that was about the DPW director, then I'll change all the Chris's to Scott. No, no, the Chris was the, he's the director of the Pioneer Valley Mosquito Control District. There we go. Okay, thank you. So I can also ask Shyla for, I've been meaning to email her, I can ask her for the wetlands maps or you, Jane, whatever seems But one of us, we don't need to both do it. Nope. Why don't okay, I I'll, do it? You're going to do it? Okay. Yeah. So you're going to ask Shyla for the wetlands map. And then, yeah. So who should you ask for the catch basin map? Well, I don't know. Maybe um, they exist also in planning board. Anyway, I, I will find it. I will poke around and find it. Or DPW could be. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. Um, Past surveillance has been done by Pioneer Valley Mosquito Control District. That's for us, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, moving right along. Uh, management. So I remember we were talking about this last time and we were, these numbers got, you pulled them from the presentation, is that right? Yes, and I, okay. yes, they're corrected. Uh, yeah, those are theirs. We've corrected ours. Great. From the present all right so now this is the interesting stuff right and i know it's really small so i'm going to try to see if i can make it bigger okay it talks about surveillance surveillance educational oops i know i'm just trying to make it readable it thank you. you can much better thank you um, tony lynn can you make the um enlarge that a bit that's really tiny so that's what you're working on. I'm working on, but not control or command uh, plus if you have a depending on whether you're a PC or Mac. Here we go. Okay. But you're not going to be able to read the rest of the. I mean, everyone has this document. <laughs> so. Right. And right. I can't take notes while I'm doing this version. No, 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 on that's screen, fine. So. Um, I don't know if you, in my document, I mean, they, they bulleted it. Um, I don't know if, sh let me read to you what I edited in mind since we can't view both at the same time. I Since the last meeting, I'm sorry if I'm reading this to you. Do you want me to share my screen? Would that be better? Yeah, why don't you do that? It's, and then I've got to get to, yeah, you have to then, it'll give you all your windows and you have to find the window that's got it up already. And then oh, click. I might have to open it. Let's see, show all windows. Let's see. Oh, shoot, I'm sorry. Google Docs. I might have to. Well, you're not trying to share Google Docs, right? You're just trying to share the PDF. Well, mine isn't a, P okay, you're right. And I have to go to. Yeah, okay. Let's see. We're all in the Google Docs, so we don't need to share that. No, I, but I need to, sh no, we need to share Google Docs because that's where ours is. We're all in the Google Docs, so we can all just look at it. We don't have to share it. All right. 
Never mind. I got to go back to Zoom. So can you all see what I wrote then? And no, we see a list of your files in your folder. I know. You need to be in the window. You need to find the window that has the document open and then you then you scare sheen. So turn off your screen sharing for a minute until you find that. I wish I knew how. <laughs> Go where it says um, uh, you are up on my it says it, it probably says at the top, you are sharing your screen. It says on mine, you are viewing Bobby's screen. So turn that off for a minute. It's usually an X, a red X. There should be a, either that or something that says stop sharing screen. Yeah. I've been okay. looking at the Google Docs and it looks to me that Bobby's edits were in the blue background text, which you Correct. can pretty easily see by toggling yeah. with your Google Doc. I, I can't get back to the meeting. I'm sorry. I'm terrible at this. Um, Go down on the bottom. You should see a list of icons. One of them should look like the Zoom uh, movie camera. Click on that. I'm going to have to go out of the meeting and come back in. I've, I've, I've really screwed up. OK. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. OK, I want to yeah, meeting controls. Leave meeting. Seems a little extreme, but oh well. Uh, well, I mean, if if you can take a look at your Google Docs, um, Bobby's editions are with a blue background. It's very easy to see them. Yeah, they are easy yeah, to see. We're in there. So I'm going to put a note in our Google Doc because <coughs> I think the important stuff is their narrative. So I'm just going to put it in a comment here. What page are you working on? So I think we're on education, outreach, and public relations now, which is page two. <laughs> There's um, one that I would add, if we're willing to do the asparagus festival. I have my meeting tomorrow night with friends of Lake Warner, but so far reception has been good to sharing a table um, at the asparagus festival. So we could add that in. Um, it's in there. It's number two in the list of one, two, three, four, five under additional comments in that section. Oh, oh, I'm just adding it in under the check off all the education outreach methods that you intend to apply. Um, I would just say make it public events and that, that way you don't have to list each one separately. Okay. I'll, I'll say public events. Yeah, I'm on a different part of this. I'm here. Surprised Bobby hasn't come back in yet. Michelle, we just lost your sound. Muted because I was talking to someone. So I'm just looking at this. Um, you know, the Northampton. I guess I have to wait until. Do we still have a quorum? <laughs> I think so. Um, okay. So I'm looking, I left it as a comment, um, page two, or you can look at the PDF, but basically the like center of what they did, which is what our conversation was, like most of the meeting last time we talked about this section, right? And so I'm just looking at what Northampton did. Um, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm seeing your comment. And it looks like pretty similar to what we were talking about, right? Poster, public presentation, pamphlets, PSA. They do have maps of high risk areas, which is not something we talked about. Um, school camps, school seasonal camps, um, social media, like these are all things I think we talked about. So 
So I think the only things on here that are different than we talked about. I didn't, I mean, this demographic data seems like a next level, something we weren't really thinking of. Um, we weren't like three and four here. Uh, we weren't really talking about doing. Um, are, you, are you looking at the list of outreach stuff what? or something else? Yeah, so in Northampton's comment, in the comment I made or in its PDF, they say since 2000 MBPH, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then they have a one, a two, a three, and a four. And the three and the four. Oh, I see. Okay, now I see it, yeah. Um, we're not things we talked about. What should we do about Bobby not being back? She's going in, she'll show up when she can. Yeah. Okay. I will put it in the notes. <laughs> ah, there she comes. I'm sorry. Okay. Carry on. Yeah, so we're just talking, Bobby, about um, just this section here. Um, uh, I'm going to be now doing partial screen sharing. Um, There we go. Okay, so um, this is just from the PDF. I just pasted it in here. So it's the same thing. Thank you. Thing. But um, basically, this this looks very similar to what we've talked we talked about last time. We didn't talk about maps of high risk areas, but a lot of these other things are similar. We didn't also talk about posting signage on trails, but the majority of trails in Hadley are not on town land. They're either on state land or um, held by groups like Kestro. So I don't know if it's that even in our jurisdiction to put signs on other people's property, but we can certainly ask them if they would like signage about mosquitoes. Right. Uh, but then who's going to make and pay for the signs is another question. I don't know if they're... Um... If they're well, just let me just finish this thought and then I'll go stop okay. sharing because I got to take notes like what Sean sure. just said. Sorry. Um, so just to say these two things are things we didn't talk about, and I don't know if that, you know, of course, we don't know why they passed if they passed because of all this million things they're doing, or you know, just because they turned it in, unlike Amherst. <laughs> <laughs> Which sec? I'll let you catch up there, Tony. No, you can go ahead. What? Okay, so I'm sorry. While I was not on screen, what what part were you reviewing? The education outreach and the two one to two paragraph narrative. Did exactly. you get to that? You got it. Yep. Okay, so you. I updated it. I don't know if you want to make any changes on that. I, I just put in from the last meeting on our application. Are we reviewing it or not? I'm taking notes, so I okay. can't talk. Okay, so education, okay, outreach, so and public. Answer Bobby, not okay, <laughs> education, outreach, and public relations. The section I wrote. Did folks have a chance to look at it in Google Docs? That would be Hadley Media Interview and Posting of PSA Messages, no, et cetera? No, no. Um, the town of Hadley will continue to work cooperatively with a PB, MCD. Oh, I can't, okay, I see it. Okay, blah, blah, blah. That looks fine. Can you see it, Michelle? Yes, yes, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, I thought it was well written, Bobby. And, and okay, so we'll stick with that. Okay. Um. So, are we still comparing the North? This is a, I don't know where we are. Are we still comparing the Northampton, or are we just reviewing ours at this point? Well, yeah, we were looking at like I put the comment next to it, so it made it easy, hopefully, to like compare what they wrote in their section to ours. Um, I think. You know, we'll just we'll have to like do a little bit of cleanup on our section. I can the, the question is, are we gonna how many of the things we suggest we said are we gonna actually do? Because there's mm -hmm. a lot. Right. And then are there any things that they said that we want to add? Okay. Because I we could cut our I don't list think down. we want to overpromise. Sorry, go ahead, Jane. Right. We could cut our list down if we look at which are the most probable to happen. Okay, so are we looking at the checkoff education outreach methods that you intend to employ? Is that the section we're at? <laughs> yeah, that's the one before our list of outreach. It's the one after Bobby's paragraph. So these, anything that's listed here, I gather, is something that we're checking off. Well, let's, go ahead, Michelle. I think, wasn't this their list or did we, uh, was this, no, this uh, we, we brainstormed this out this of our list. list. You I know, the, the, for, the, for the possible video, you probably should, you know, um, would need a, that sort of notes to us rather than to them would need a media angle. Yeah, there's a few things here that, that are our comments to ourselves that somebody's gonna have to go through and remove after right. they're done. Okay, I do think media outreach, I think at Hadley Media interview and posting PSA messages and resources is definitely an outreach thing that we can do. That's not a no to us, that's a- Oh, no, 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 but what follows? Um, oh yeah. Mass oh, Live W. Yeah. Um, may reach out to Mass Live W or right. W, you know, that kind of thing. That, okay, that's, that's a note. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Presentations in person or virtual. Um, do you think we're going to do anything with Library Senior Center? I, I can't, I, what does a presentation look like that, I guess we could give like a three minute presentation before something, but we can't like bring people, we can't exactly. bring people to like talk no, to them about yeah. mosquitoes. What if you did it in front of a select board meeting? There are people oh. who watch that more than anything else. Not necessarily right then, but. Jane, do you think people on the select board would feel it's a good use of time, a, of meeting time? Um. If it's not going to be very long, then they should have the respect to listen to the town. <laughs> it's a big if in this case. What is our deadline for doing this? Is it something that can happen after the uh, election of? Oh, uh, deadline for this is 2022. Oh, this is well, 2023. Oh, okay, so we could hold that oh, request. Oh, I mean, I guess the mosquito season. I'm really time, time out. This is for 2022. This is the, the timing for that we're saying we're gonna do this, all of this is actually for, from now, but basically if we get approved from mosquito season, so from April until December 31st, 2022 is what is what these activities entail. So my, my question is, is doing a presentation before the select board something that could be held after May 17th or is oh, it yeah. something that has to be done sooner? Because if it's something that the, the, the chances are very high that a vote to have a presentation from us after May 17th would be a, a, a favorable vote and not so, so I think for them. Wait. I don't think we need to get into the complications of May 17th. Like yeah. the select board appointed you. You are making a report back to the select board, whether they oh, yeah. like it or not. Okay. <laughs> so we need okay. to get you on the agenda. Actually, I had you on the agenda for this Wednesday and it was so busy. I said, well, you wouldn't mind moving until the 20th. You're already on the agenda. Right, right, right. right. So we are on the agenda to make a presentation to the select board to update. We're, we're, we're on, on the 20th. On the 20th. So this is an addition to that. I believe the 
on the 20th. Great. Thanks, Jane. So I, this is an addition. And I'm thinking if, if a senior center presentation, Jane, are there programs where they have like, I don't know, what I, I'm not familiar enough with the program where we could do like a three minute sort of this is what's happening in Hadley, um, passing out our brochures, um, just sort of getting that particular audience involved. We could run audience. it on the screen and have it, we could just loop it and have it running continuously and have the materials available on a table. Great. So we'll leave Senior Center on there. Very good. Um, I did a slight correction. I don't know if it should just be eliminated. Um, um, the part about, had, you know, media outreach, I said, Hadley Media interview and posting of PSA message. Just may reach out to Mass Live and WWLP, or we could say Mass Live WL, WLP Gazette, Ham, Daily Hampshire Gazette, and um, Amherst Bulletin. I don't know if we. Why don't you just say to local media outlets and not and the, necessarily yeah. list the specific okay. ones? There's, okay. there's a lot more than that. Right. And once, if we have a press release, you know, it's not a big deal to send them out. Should I say may reach out or will reach out? May. Okay. But change okay. outlets to outlets. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm listening and typing and it's getting all mixed up. Okay. We can, we can instead of we may. It's a possibility that this would happen. As yes, opposed to... good, good. Okay. All right. Um, are you caught up there, Shell? Yes. You, okay. So um, first Michelle's making it real time. I didn't have to do that. Okay. School based programs, science fairs, et cetera. Um, we said sen senior center on that. So, table. Do um, you know what? You might want to spell it out. SC could be school committee or senior center. Um, I, I think we covered it in the above. We put senior center. Yeah. Right, um, but no, no. But you said school committee. You mean reach out to senior center? Um, not under school based program. Oh no. Okay, either. right. Okay, school committee. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. So there is an opportunity. There's an opportunity May seventh to reach out to the library and the senior center because both friends groups are having an open house. It's a Saturday. Oh. Okay. So let's put that in there. It's something we can do. Open house. May 7th, and who's going to do that? Uh, What's the timing on that, Jane? Uh, between 10 and 3, or 10 and 4, midday. So we could give you a slot. I know at Senior Center, we're going to have a couple of speakers. We're going to have a musician. Just trying to bring people into the buildings that have not been into the buildings, and we can say that there'll be information about the Hadley Mosquito Opt-Out Committee available at 10 15 or whenever you want it yeah and so put your the, presentation on the question is who's going to be there for the 20 minutes or half an hour or whatever that that table will be staffed oh, the table can stay it's who's going to talk when you show I'll, them i'll say so i'll be there seventh let me write that down okay i'll figure out what to do um, okay Okay, and you, Jane, you can give me a time. Okay, I don't have one yet. Okay, fine. Okay, um, we've got the tabling events figured out. I think we we said the climate change, uh, April 3rd, and also I haven't followed up on town meeting. I will do that um, if we can have a table. And then we also talked we had some other things like the asparagus festival some other things that we don't know about it happening yet right um oh. i've been doing an email conversation about asparagus festival we have our board meeting tomorrow i think it'll be okay to team up um you know with friends of lake water and we might even vote to fund it we'll, we'll see in which case you won't have to use personal funds thank you um, but I actually think it might be good for both organizations because people who are friends, you know, different friend groups will come over to the table, will be attracted, you know, and get to see the other groups, Excellent. Um, material. So I'll, I'll make a case for that tomorrow. I think it'll not be a problem. Thank you. 
Okay. Um, I have yet to, I, I've fallen behind folks. I'm sorry. I've got to get the website going. I've been posting things, but it's not live yet. So before our next meeting, I will do that. But um, we can leave that in there. We'll be on there on the town website. Okay. On the other, we had all kinds of stuff. Um, I, all of these notes to ourselves. Actually, Jane, uh, one of the things we had under other was posting in schools. Did you have a chance to talk to the school? At all? I met with Annie and she said she was going on vacation the very next day. And she said she would look at this stuff when she got back. And I called her this morning and said, hey, that was like a month ago. I'm having a meeting today. Can you let me know what you want for the schools? Well, she assumes probably an evening meeting. So I haven't been heard back from her yet. OK, that's fine. Thank you. Okay. So it's still a possibility. Yes, yeah, she didn't say no, we don't want it. OK, <laughs> I don't know that we need to distribute at the dump because they're going to just throw it away. What do you <laughs> that was just a to distribute material at the dump is that still an option right and or? and then and then the climate change committee and the waste of paper that's getting thrown away immediately would be upset so i would exactly so let's skip that um all right we'll take that okay. off um Here, here's a little just um correction thing over a tabling of the defense it says intro to public events did i write um should we just say public events Yeah, just say public events. Yeah. I'm not even okay. seeing the transfer station on here. Maybe somebody got it off already. It said distributed dump under other. It's the next page. Oh, okay. All right, we'll take that out. Posters in schools is still a question mark. Uh, we had suggested some bulletin boards. That's going to require some follow-up. Um, I asked Annie about that, too, and she's supposed to get back to me about which okay. teachers want it. Okay. All right. So we have a bunch of other places here. Um, do we, if we can agree that some of these can happen, then I'll, we can decide who can post what. Um, I can go to Gardner's Supply. I can go to Wanzac. I can go to Sugar Shack. Um, Michelle, okay. And I, I, I stop in shops close by. Did we put flavors down as a place to post? No, we didn't. Do you want to do that one too? Um, sure. Okay. I think more people would see it there than at Stop and Shop because Stop and Shop's yeah. board is so yeah, let's inaccessible. Try. Skip Stop and Shop. One less stop. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. I'll do Barstow's, obviously. Um, somebody should definitely do Whole Foods. I can do that. Who said that? Bobby. Bobby will do Whole Foods. Um, he's, I, East Commons. What is East Commons? I'm sorry. That's the residential complex of next to the bikeway oh. on East Street. I can do that. I'd like to they, see that anyway. They have a place where their mailboxes are that has a shelter area you could post right. in. Okay, so just a review here. We said uh, Jane is going to figure out posters on schools, bulletin boards. I'm going to do Garden of Supply, Wanzik, Whole Foods, and East Commons, that's Bobby. And then Michelle is going to do flavors. And sugar and shack. Sugar shack. And Shell is going to Shell is going to do Barstow's. And I can do Primo's. I know the folks there. Um, do you guys know if there's a bulletin board at Hillside Pizza? I think there is, but I don't think it's terribly visible. Okay. Should we cross off stop and shop because these yes. are notes to well, ourselves? I put in not worth the bother so that we know we didn't forget it. Just okay. <laughs> and flavors is a V. I'll get it. Oh yeah. Okay. So, um, what are what is being posted? We're going to do one of the, what is going to be posting. We have some of the posters that we have here. Okay, um, great. How are people so, who are distributing going to get them? I, you know, I'm going to propose that when we finalize this, that we have a face-to-face -face meeting. Is, are people really opposed to that? I'm, I'm just feeling really disorganized, but that's just me. Um, but unless, you, I don't want to mail them to you. I think we already talked about that we could do a face-to-face -face meeting once we get the application. Um, yeah. I mean, if that doesn't happen, I'm sure we could job them at 
like the senior center, right, Jane? And people could drive right. and grab them. Oh, that's and true. Drive around and put them in people's mailboxes anyway. Um, okay, so we know which mail. poster, like uh, if we're talking about outside things, these things aren't laminated. So are we talking, you know, I think we might need to decide what it is that everyone's putting up. Okay. Um, well, that's how I'd be helpful to see them. You, you, I gave them to you, right? You, you saw yeah, them. I have them. Um, so the paper in them is fairly waterproof. On the, on the post. Yeah. Well, I, I'm looking at this lister. I don't think any of these are outside. Maybe he's comments. Yeah. I don't know. Later uh, on, which we haven't done the outreach yet to Kestrel and to trustees and Conti Wildlife Refuge. Those are the ones that would do better to be laminated. Yes, yes. And I have a laminating machine. I can laminate oh, you them. do? Cool. Yes. Um, so, Bobby, I have, I'm making this to-do list, and I have on here that you're going to get more materials and get them to Jane. Um, well, I need Jane to know how much we need. That's, I mean, Yeah, I think we need to decide today. That's, that I think so, too. Nervous. Um. um Let's let me see if I can get the list. You know what? Let me just pull out the, the handouts. So there's this thing and this thing, and that this is just a big version of this. Um, and this seems like maybe the one that we would. The background is it hard for us to see what you're doing. It's um, this is the one that is probably the one that we would post because it's eight and a half it's, by eleven. We're not seeing it. We're seeing your background. We're seeing Tony your Lynn. Yeah, you're. It's not registering as an object. I'm sorry, Shell. I didn't hear what you said. Um. um there we go. Okay. Yeah. So. This is probably because there's a poster too that could maybe go in school, but this is the same thing. It's just bigger, uh -huh. essentially. Mm -hmm. so, and there's, there's also one, it's also in Spanish. Um, although if we're posting it, you know, I don't know, we could post two, I guess, like next to each other. It probably won't work to, okay. but you know. Okay, so um, we want these, okay. So this seems to be the one, if we're gonna put it places. Yeah. Uh, and the bigger I mean, one like might be better for a school. I'm sorry, I interrupted. Go ahead, Tony. So thinking about counting out how many places, so maybe it's 30 places. I don't know. Maybe you just get 50 of them. Okay. We could always use the back for Spanish. Yeah. yeah. And then I agree with the schools that this bigger one. So maybe that's like five or something, because I can't imagine that many places want us to put this big of a poster on. It's pretty yeah. big. We're gonna have trouble finding some. Well, those, you know, it. those would be the ones I think to laminate and have in the in the park areas when we're up to that point. Yeah. Right. Uh, if there's enough space. I mean what, it is big. That one's too big. Is that um what size is that? Um that eleven by eleven 17? by fourteen. Eleven by fourteen. The reason I'm asking, I sh I can also ask friends of Lake Warner, we have a kiosk um with which is covered i think so we could possibly put one up there but I have this to get is, an idea yeah that. this is eight and a half by 11. okay yeah yeah and if it's laminated i don't think it has to be the extra big one um okay so then there's these these seem like the things to hand out at, yes. our, at like climate day and stuff yeah. and so Those maybe you get 50 each or maybe no maybe more for this because this would come go to like any event we go to all year right so I maybe you get yeah. 200 of each. I yeah. don't know. What do people think? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Because if go to and then maybe get like 30 of these or something, the Spanish ones. I don't know. Okay. I'm just making okay. numbers up. Yeah, when, no, that's, yeah. Do we know how to reach Spanish speakers in town? Um, uh, other than at the farms that some of them work at. They live over in uh, Vesta 34 through 38. That's right. And we just saw. Uh, and we did, we talked about, and I'm not sure where he's on application about, there was somebody who did distribution door to door of things in Vesta. Wasn't it, Jane? I have a senior who hands out our newsletters, but that's in the senior buildings, not the family buildings. Oh, okay. Family buildings where we have the 
other speakers. Is it the same management? Yes. I'm actually talking to him tomorrow at some point. I hate to keep putting things on your plate, Jane, but could you ask him if we'll be allowed to distribute something there? Sure. Unless you want I to ask him if I can hang it on the bulletin board. There you go. All right. I have to put this on Jane's to-do list. What did you just say? She's going to uh, see if the Vester management will allow posting um, in their building, which could include the Spanish, correct? Yes, yes, it would include everybody. Okay. Um, okay, I have some follow-up questions from previous meetings, but I don't want to interrupt where we're at. Do you feel like, Bobby, you have what you need for materials? I, I think so. I believe so, yes. Thank okay. you. Um, all right, so from previous meetings, April 9th, we're not doing anything then anymore, right? Correct. All right. Um, April 23rd, um, do we need to talk any more about sort of, I think, Bobby, you said you'd be there. I. Yeah, in found, terms of, Go ahead, sorry. I think it's the same handouts, correct? We, we figure what the handouts are, the two pieces. Um, and I can put a little display together. We I can make a sign or something that says even who we are. You know, I was thinking, and, and I may be getting into too much detail at this point. I know tires have been a big issue for us. It, does anyone have a tire we could put on the table and say, this is a problem? <laughs> I mean, it would catch people's eye in terms of collecting would. water. It, it, people would I, come over and say, what's this? I, I don't know. I have um, two tires that our canoe rests on. We try to dump them out regularly, but um, I could dirty. probably borrow lucky, from but... the neighbor a sliced tire. They now are using sliced tires, which are much less mosquito friendly and therefore much more human friendly. Um, but it was kind of, I, I could probably get them to lend me one for show and tell. Um, they've got a bunch they're not using. Um, oh. But, um, I would need to know the date and stuff like that. But there, I, I think people know what a tire looks like. And maybe rather than handling disgusting, heavy water filled tires, schlepping them to meetings, maybe we could get a picture of a tire that was filled with water and say, this is what you shouldn't do. And then have the slight, the literal sliced tire and show this is what you can do instead. But the problem is, I, I think it was like kind of a big deal to go get the tires sliced. I think he had to drive to Pennsylvania right. to get a truckload of them. Right. I, so I be practical. guess my thought was just to get people's attention as a conversation piece. This is a tire. This I really like it because I think it would draw the eye. But yeah, if it's a we bother, have, then we don't have to do it. But, but Michelle, it's not about it from a tire, tire show. I, I have the that. two tires. And then out back from me on the silage pit, many tires that well I, yeah travel. i will pick up a tire from you i'll coordinate with you michelle okay i'll okay. pick up a tire from you so what date are we talking about for this april 23rd oh the climate day okay right all right i'll talk to my neighbors and see what they say okay all right um did you and i found out my event i'm going to be talking in the like 10 to 12 session um so i could help table after that Bobby. thank you i'm 23rd okay uh if we can just finish the application here and we're almost done i think um we talked okay we talked about k through 12. we talked about hotsburg school does anyone have any connections with hotsburg i probably know a parent there would you mind reaching out and seeing if we can post a Something at the Hatsburg School? Um, yeah, when are we doing all these postings? Sometime after, well, before school ends, I guess. Right, that's what I, that's what I was wondering. May, um, May, June, May, June. Okay, yeah. The schools, okay. And any time now until school ends. Okay, uh, municipal buildings, uh, Jane, can we can we do that? And post in municipal buildings. Sure. I'll take them around. Thank you. Okay, so we're doing that. I mean, we're 
listing all these things in the application. This is just showing them that what we're doing. Okay, uh, state federal land managers. We kind of covered that. We're going to reach out. Um, I said I, I, buildings I, maybe should also have the bilingual. Yeah, yeah, we've got enough to do that. Right. Okay, Kestrel. Uh, I think we're somewhat repetitive here. I can reach out with Kestrel. I know those folks. We, Michelle, you're doing like Warner. Uh, anyone have know anyone at Friends of Mount Holyoke Reservation? Um, it's Friends of Mount Holyoke Range, actually. Oh, okay. um, I I know Lola Reed, but she doesn't live in town. Um, the people I know used to know. Um, I don't think are involved anymore, but. Um, you know, I wonder, Shell, if Ginny Traub, or if we could find Oh, yeah, Ginny, yeah. Do you still have, do you have a current number for her? Um, well, I could always reach her through the park office if I don't. Uh, so, Shell, you're going to follow up with that one? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll work with the trustees. Um, yeah. Ginny works for the actual um, state park. Yeah, she works for DCR. Great. Um, so, but what what is the timing on this outreach? All of the, all of this outreach is from any time now until the end of the mosquito season, basically now until and next and the fall. actual request we're making is what to put up a poster and then putting it up <laughs> the request and then getting it there, yeah. And then with the schools being on a, a little tighter timeline correct before the end of school let's say by june 1 maybe okay uh conte u.s fish and wildlife did tony did you say you had a contact there or... yep okay so tony's going to follow up with them and again you know this is schools are the, the real push and some of these events we have planned this this spring Sportsman Marina and Mitch's Marina. Well, I can do Mitch's. Okay. I don't even know where Sportsman Marina is. Oh, right, right under the Coolidge Bridge. Yeah. Oh. On the I'm south side of Route 9 on the um, east bank. Okay, I can do that. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, we, we tra Transportation industry, we decided we didn't do anything there. Our uh, recreation venues, uh -huh. I said young men's club. I don't know if we're going to, is that realistic or not? <laughs> I'll ask Ed. He's my neighbor. I'll ask Ed. <laughs> yeah. You know, Matt, I don't know if Matt Cushy is a member. He's, but, but I'm sort of out of touch with him. I don't know. He's really busy. Well, the Cushies live behind us, Ed Cushy. So I, I can talk to him. Okay. Um, we had a question mark after farmers. I don't, not sure we knew what to do with that one. Other landowners. Northampton is obviously less farmy than us, but they didn't mention uh, that. Not so, there's quite a bit of farming acreage in Northampton, in the Meadows and in Florence. They didn't mention it. Mm. Well, um, do we want, do we well, want the to- the thing about farmers is that we want to make sure that they don't come storming in with their arms folded saying, we want aerial spray. So what we need to do is, is proactively engage with them in some way. And this is really where Michael's expertise is. Is, is he still officially on the committee? I, I don't think he's going to be an active member. I mean, he's part of the committee, but do, do you know him at all, Shell? Oh yeah, I know him pretty well. Why don't you reach out to him and see, see what you can find out? That would be yeah. great. Because yeah. I, I had made a long time ago, I'd made a list of farmers to talk to and, and gather yes. support from that's in, in the notes from like December. I know, um, but, I know, and we didn't pursue it. But I, right, I but we didn't pursue it because it's already been voted on by the town. So they, no one at this point can like march in anywhere. They could say next year, but we haven't had aerial spraying. So it's not like they're like, I can't believe you stopped aerial spraying. Now look what's happening. You know, oh, we're yeah. like saying we don't want to do something that hasn't been happening. <laughs> okay, so, so maybe we don't need to deal with that right now. Right. I yeah, thought that's what of, we decided months ago, but yeah. One of the areas for farmers is that some farms have very large sort of processing areas or areas, you know, like Sykowski's got has a very large mm -hmm. complex over on um 
uh, Commons Road, and you know, then there might be a couple of th those might be places to ask to post something because there are a lot of people who go in and out of those buildings. But you know, I don't um, think it's on our first tier. Right. Okay. I I I will. I know Wally Zakowski. Do you guys know him? He's he's a big farmer right here in Mount Water Road, and he's he's uh, pretty supportive of a lot of community and, and safety of his workers. So let me just reach out to him and see what he thinks. And the other facilities, I think, is Jack Sykowski's place. There's also the Food Bank Farm, is um, now going to be on the other end of Hadley with part of the acreage in Amherst. Okay. Well, okay, those are ideas. We'll still keep that as a question mark. We have some ideas. We'll leave farmers on there. Okay. Um, it said list a minimum of three education outreach you plan to execute the upcoming season. And I just pulled some of the things on here that we said we were going to do. Tabling at Climate Day, Hadley and Town Meeting, Asparagus Festival, um, participate in beer garden events on Town Common, pre uh, prevention posters in municipal buildings. And we had talked about Hadley Learns World Fair. I don't, I, I don't that remember a, that. It was what an event that? that Humera put together last summer. Uh, it was a very lovely event. It was a huge potluck. Jane was there. Michelle was there, I think. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, they had people cooking dishes from their home cultures. Um, yeah. The food was inside, but then people brought it outside to eat. And there was some socializing going on, which was very welcome at that time when hardly any socializing was going on at all. And it was, what do you think? There were probably 80 or 100 people there. Yeah. It was in the fall, I think, because school had already started. Um, that's my memory. Yeah, it was is it August. Happening? I think is it was it August because I wasn't here. Oh, no, it was August? Okay. But, is it um, happening again this year? Maybe. The intention probably. was last year something. to keep it We've been talking about having our next meeting in person, like in May or June. But um, I don't know. I wouldn't worry too much about that. Okay, we will. Like, I think we're going to we'll read through all of this again when we do the application. Yeah. And okay. Then. Okay. Um, is there anything else for, on our application or the, or the Northampton application we need to review at this point? We've got a bunch of to-dos for next meeting. Um, anything else? So going once, going twice on the application at this point, anything to add? I think we're really making a lot of progress, but go ahead. Somebody. Yeah, um, I was just looking through to make sure that um, there's no and um yeah i mean i guess the things again i i don't know how much like we're just doubling down and tripling down on the like posting of things yeah. and the presentations and right. and that feels like it's one thing to me um but there's other categories like what northampton did where they were like data driven information um that and maybe we just don't have the capacity for so it's fine and we just leave it out and then we see what happens yeah um, well one thing we could do tony is if we can't get the dat data easily ourselves we can ask them how they went about it or where they found certain things or you know that might give us a little <clears throat> map yeah so that's a really good point is they wrote all this up last year and then presumably had to do it right <laughs> so meredith or someone from the committee to say what do you wish you had what are you going to say differently this time like what did you actually like not get to or what did you think worked well or whatever logically that would be a conversation that bobby might want to have Okay, I'll try to reach out to her. I think we also have to keep in mind they have three full-time staff. <laughs> um, yeah, we're not going to be able to do what they did. <laughs> it's, so we have far fewer resources. Specifically, um, the data-driven stuff. What, what specifically, Tony? I'm sorry. Are you speaking about? Okay, so talking to Meredith or someone from the team to say, thanks so much for sharing your application. Now that you've gone through the whole year with it, what did you feel like you wish you hadn't put in there because you never got to it? You wish you hadn't put in there because it didn't actually seem to have any impact. Um, what did you end up doing that you didn't put in there? Like, how will your application be different this year? 
And like, what did you learn last year? And then in addition to that, yeah, do you have, where do you get the data for number three and four? Um, where, where do those come from? Where are you pulling that information from? Okay, one thing I think we need to keep in mind, and this is just a comment, um, Meredith is on is it one of the commissioners on the Pioneer Valley Mosquito Control District. So she may have some good information for us. Um, but I'm wondering, you know, there may be some issues why they got approved. Um, so I just want to put that out. I, I will state that does the approval. It's not the MDC, MCD. That is the state. No, they're different. I mean, it's, it's, it doesn't it go to the state DPA uh, for approval? No, it goes to EPA, but okay, yes. But the Pioneer Valley Mosquito Control District is part of the state reclamation and mosquito control district. They're, they're under, they're a subsection of the state spring or organization. And it, it's all connected. Anyway, I, sh I will contact Meredith. Okay, follow up on that. Okay, I got lots of to-dos. Um, whoops. All right. Um, I, I, I didn't, I had one last thing from a few minutes ago. Um, did you ever turn the report in, Bobby? Does that, did that happen? The annual report or whatever? Oh, yes, yes, Okay. you did. Yeah, I'm just looking back through old notes. That's why I'm asking. Thank that. you. Yes, and uh, Je uh, Jennifer received it. Thank you. Okay. Um, okay. And who is actually going to be signing the application for us? Presumably Carolyn Brennan. Okay. Good. Or, or, um, well, I, it, I, I would imagine be her. Um, it, <coughs> okay. Okay. Actually, you know, Meredith was supposed to have. So Carolyn will sign. Meredith was, or the uh, Northampton was supposed to file an, a report by January 31st, submit an annual report of all activities. So maybe we can get our hands on that. That would be helpful. Okay. Okay. All right. Anything else on the applications at this point? Except that we're still waiting for the state to... <laughs> Okay, come through. Um, okay, let's see, going back to the agenda. Let's see what else we have on the agenda here. Too many papers. The agenda. I guess, I'm sorry. Okay. I have the agenda in front of them. I have too many yeah. papers. Um, there's um, update strategic plan. I think we it said old business was the updates on other town applications, discussion of 2022 application, things we've done already. And then okay. next meeting. Next meeting. Okay. So we're going to be meeting with the select board on April 20th. <laughs> Correct, Jane? Are we on the agenda? Yes. Okay. Yes, okay. Um, do we that need... may be an in-person meeting. We're voting on that this week. Oh, okay. I'm going to be out of town at spring break, so if it's in-person, I can't make it. Well, okay. uh, they're talking about hybrids, too, so oh, nice. it'll be interesting. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, I spaced out for a sec. What meeting are we talking about? Select board, April 20th, 6 p.m. Yeah. yeah. So, Jane, are we likely to be at the beginning of the meeting or later? Because I have a 7.30 meeting. We day. can ask them for a specific time. So earlier would be better. Okay. Um, in terms I, of... Go ahead. I propose we set a meeting for um, next, like early-ish next week. And if we don't have the application yet, we could either make it a quick one or cancel it. Like, why don't we put a meeting like almost every week <laughs> for now because um we're thinking we're going to get the application pretty soon you know so we just like know that does that make sense or is that too much work for you Bobby? I, no I no I, I agree 
Go ahead, Shell. I'm sorry. I would rather not be meeting every week. I, I joined this committee. I, I totally agree. I'm just to trying to more. figure out when the application drops. We need to like we need to meet, and so okay. there's ahead. one one more meeting. I think we need to figure out in, in relation to what you said, Tony. I think we need to figure out what the agenda would be. The Board of Health. We need to coordinate with them. I mean, all the other towns go through the Board of Health. Jane, have you had any? We said in the last minutes, I think that we were supposed to meet with the Board of Health at some point. Do you, did you have a chance to figure that out? So the last Board of Health meeting was canceled because they didn't have a quorum. Okay. And so their next one should be this week. Oh, so on I, Friday? Usually it's, well, oh, sometimes Thursday, sometimes Friday, I will check. I'm not available this Thursday or Friday. Okay. I, I'm just wondering if we should meet with them before we meet with the select board. If we need to, you know, talk about coordination and, I mean, is that something we, you folks want to do? So I think we should meet with the select board once we have a draft application. We could meet with the board of health before we have a draft application, but we'll probably. We could put it into like a presentation for them. We yeah. can't give them, we obviously can't give them what we have right now, right? It's a mess. Right. And we don't want to like perfect it for some format that doesn't, isn't the right, right. one. Um, but I feel like we could be a little bit sloppy, not sloppier with Board of Health, but we could be a little bit earlier with Board of Health yeah. because we are trying to get there like yeah. more back, back, whereas select board, we should be like, we're pretty much there. Yeah. yeah. Or, yeah, I agree. Or so I think the twentieth might even get canceled for us because if we don't have an application yet, or we just got it two days before, we shouldn't meet with the select board on the twentieth. It's just and the that select board. The select board would be thrilled to have an open space come up on their meeting. So don't cancel it. Just at the last minute, we can say you're not ready. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's talk about. I mean, the purpose of meeting with the select board, we thought it would be an update, but I, I don't know that we need to meet them more than once. It, it's more of a this is what we're going to submit, right? So it should be more final. Okay, all right. So I think we need to meet with the Board of Health and so that they may have some suggestions. I mean, they're the public public health people. This is a public health issue. Uh, I think we need to- What about the 15th? 15th of April? I, um, um, that's Passover. <laughs> what, but what what time will you be? Sounds like people. we should do it early. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, that's the, the first Seder. So a daytime meeting would be okay for people who are not necessarily hosting their own Seder. But I might be hosting. Uh, um, we're I think Jane said hosting. that um, oh, you they usually do like noon or one. I mean, we don't all have to be there, right? Yeah, uh, the, one, that probably wouldn't be a big deal. What about the 22nd? Oh, that would be after the board meeting, though, select board yeah. meeting. Yeah. Um, I, I have a proposal. If the Board of Health meets every Friday, is the possibility we could meet with them on April 22nd? Jane, are they do, are they scheduled to meet then? Oh, You're on mute. I don't know which um, Fridays they meet. I will get back to you on that. I can't, I'm trying right now to write to Peter, but <laughs> he's... I'm noticing that not only is the 15th the first Seder day, it's also Good Friday, so okay. Christians may have issues with that day also. All right. Um. I had penciled in because um, last meeting that we thought we might talk to the Board of Health on the 8th, but we're not sure for, you know, they're meeting then at like 2 p.m. That was a possibility. Yeah, I mean, Bobby just said she's not available. Oh, and, oh that's right. Yeah, and, uh, but and I don't know. It was a little earlier there. to me. Yeah. What t well, what time is their meeting? There's a possible. What time do they meet? Board of Health. Checking it out. It was three o'clock last time. I can't do that. But again, you know, you don't have to. I don't have to be there. If you want okay. to do that. So let's let's say that there's let's let's assume the state is not going to give us less than two weeks. Right. Let's hope. Yes, hopefully, hopefully. Yeah. 
So um, why don't we say we're going to meet with the Board of Health on, you know, the 15th or the 22nd? Um, and that if somehow we magically get the application in this next week, let's put a meeting on our calendar for just us next week. Mm -hmm. So we could be more prepared for a meeting on the 15th with the Board of Health so that we could meet with the select board on the 20th. That's all the very earliest possibilities. But the reality is that most of those things will probably get bumped by right. a week or two weeks. Right. So and recognizing again, Jane that maybe they don't even meet on the 15th. I know, just, just saying. So we'll find out. Should we be looking at like the 11th for our meeting? I am traveling that day. I don't know exactly what time yet. I will be here the 11th. How about the 13th? Oh, sorry, the 11th, I'm not traveling. I'm traveling on the 12th, so I could meet with an iPad. So um, you don't, you don't need Jane me. Can't be here. You don't need me to be here. Yeah. No. Well, it seems if like I we get do. I used to see the to-do list, Jane, Jane your name is on here If I get things done, <laughs> I will report back before the meeting. <laughs> OK. OK, so we're, is the 11th cool. look like a good day for folks? Well, what about the 13th, if everyone 13th can get is fine for me. 13th is better. Oh, what time? I can meet any time on the third. Any time. I can meet any time after 1 o'clock on the 13th, 1 o'clock on. I yeah, do. Or, um, one might be better for me because I, I usually work on Wednesday, so I'm trying to. Um, all right, why don't I'll we start on, on the 13th? 13th? Does one o'clock work for folks? Tony, is that good for your schedule? Yeah, I mean, it's not great, but I can make it work. Would you rather have evening, Tony, or late? Um, I mean, like four o'clock, but I don't know if that works for people. Um, I, you know, I, I can do it. It's, it's sort of, if, if that's a lot better, I can just. Does four o'clock work for people? I'm Shell, okay you're thinking. It. I'm okay with it. Jane? I'm good. We're going once, going twice, the 13th at uh, 4 p.m. Okay. Awesome. okay. And you know, both it's um, 228. Both Tony and I have to get off this call. Yes. Okay. And then, okay, just Board of Health, what, what date do we need to, um, are we going to try to meet with them? The 15th? I will I let you, I will email you all what their dates are as soon as I hear them. Thank you. Great. And we and we will circulate that. And then the select board, are we still gonna try on the 20th? Or are we gonna wait till we have something more solid? I think it's appropriate to wait till you have something solid, but you might have something oh, on the yeah, 20th. So, yeah, I mean, it's a long way off. And if we're not gonna have you on a, the next meeting, possibly Jane, can we just say the 20th? No, I am, and, the 13th, I'm here. Oh, yeah, okay, so is the 13th early enough to tell them? Oh, you know, the 19th is early enough to yeah. tell them. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. meeting on the third, 13th at 4 p.m. We're still on for the 20th for the select board unless something changes and we're going to figure out what's happening with the Board of Health and try to meet with them before the select board, right? Correct. Yeah. Okay, we got it. Sounds good. And I, I'm going to, on the notes, I have a big to-do list. So just look at the to-do list, um, if, even if you don't read closely through the notes. That'd be great. Okay. Anything else? Okay. Is there a motion to adjourn the meeting? I mm -hmm. motion. Tony motions, who seconds? I, I second. Michelle uh, seconded, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye, opposed, unanimous. Thank you everybody, well done. Take a breath. Bye.